Hey there, my name is By Release. This is my my show. My boss, this idiot, he told me I needed to start putting my good looks to use for his personal benefit and profit, so he gave me this stupid, obnoxiously long microphone to tell all of you about the sponsor of today's episode. So I know some of you have used or at least heard of the internet, and chances are you're doing it all wrong. A year ago, I invested in NordVPN, and ever since, I've been finessing the hell out of the World Wide Web. Take a look at this recently viral pro tip. California issued a law that residents have to be able to cancel their subscriptions online. Well, guess what? I don't need to live in California. I just need NordVPN to make them think I do. It's called teamwork. NordVPN has thousands of speedy, military-grade encrypted servers to connect to all over the world on your phone and computer. Imagine watching your favorite shitty anime series that's not normally available in your country through sketchy public Wi-Fi and not thinking twice about security. There's lots of reasons you shouldn't imagine that at all, but mainly because you can go to nordvpn.com jimmy to get 70% off a three-year plan plus a month free. Never let a website bully you again. Sign up for NordVPN. NordVPN. I just made that slogan up. I am a genius. But that's all I got, so I guess, uh, this is by release and you're watching Mickey Mouse, baby! NordVPN! <laughs> yeah! <laughs>Goblins. We are a frog dealing with goblins, and the less questions you ask, the better. I'm heading upstairs in the Lumbridge Castle to talk to Duke Horatio's right-hand man, Sigmund, and we are gonna start the Lost Tribe. I'll tell you outright, this Sigmund guy rubs me the wrong way. He's got a mustache that screams, I own a samurai sword, but there's no way he actually owns one. He's a fraud, and I don't trust him. He wants me to ask a bunch of citizens of Lumbridge if they know anything about the broken wall in the cellar. I guess there was an accident or something. I don't understand why anyone outside the castle would know anything about that. They've all been in the same spot for years. None of them even know the castle has a cellar. The cook's probably our best shot. I mean, he's he's right above where it happened. Yep, still useless. This is such a pointless task. No one's gonna know anything. So Father Eric was in the kitchen, okay, lying in a church. That's a bold move. He said he saw a goblin crawl into the hole, a bulgy-eyed goblin with a mining helmet on. That is oddly specific. This guy's definitely reading a script that Sigmund gave him. I just reported back to the Duke, and he's on my side. He thinks everyone is full of shit. Sigmund's getting a little too aggressive for my taste right now. Just screaming across the room how involved we should get in this. I suggested that maybe, just just maybe, we should investigate a little further before declaring war on an entire race. My god. Folks, I've seen this before and I hate to break it to you, but this is no goblin. Son of a bitch, strawberry kiwi. Found some brooch or, or ancient flavor packet of some sort down here. I'll go show it to him upstairs. Duke, you've got a case that's out of your hands. There's this guy, he's a huge red glass jug. Look, I know it sounds crazy, but you gotta pack your shit and get out of here before it's too late. Sigmund says he hasn't the slightest clue what this brooch is, but it is inarguable that this leads to a goblin invasion. And he's saying the goblin stole this thing at that. God damn it, this guy's a complete racist. Duke, we need to kill Sigmund. The guy is giving us vivid details of his plans of mass goblin genocide. Duke, this guy sleeps next door to you. What are you doing? Also, Sigmund, log into any free-to-play world and go take a look for yourself. This mass murder is already happening. We're heading to the library to see if there's any books on this thing. Hello, Reldo. I am a frog, not a person. I stumbled across this goblin-related thing in a very dark environment and was wondering if you... Ah, yes, the book of goblin-related things you stumble across in dark environments. This must be it. By golly, there it is. What a great book. I'm gonna do this thing where I don't go back to Lumbridge and tell them that this was, in fact, from a goblin. That would result in a lot of people and goblins dying. I'm gonna go pay those two goblin generals a visit. They've got a lot of knowledge and experience under their belt. They'll be a great help to this investigation. Ah, okay, apparently the beardy short people were attacked by the Dorgishan tribe. Fascinating. The situation's fairly similar to the ogres. It takes a lot of time, effort, and patience to decipher what they're saying to you. Here's what I gathered. The Dorgashan tribe hit underground after Bandos was like, go kill people. They were like, what? No, we're good guys. And Bandos was like, I'm Bandos. And then the tribe was like, blow me. And now they have a whole city underground because they hid the whole time. The generals are teaching us how to goblin bow and goblin salute. That way we can introduce ourselves formally to this peaceful tribe. I don't know how they're going to take it while I'm wearing this mask. I'm not taking it off. So now that I know how to dab and fist pump like I'm a Jersey Shore sex machine, I'm going to go find these goblin guys and show them what I'm all about. I got to make my way through 
to this little cave maze. I remember when this place used to be a lure when I first started playing. Someone would give you a candle and then ask for the tinderbox so they could light their candle. They'd walk you right over a trap because if you go through the wrong path, it sends you down, it extinguishes your candle, and you start dying very quickly because the dark is terrifying. I was the victim to it, so please don't joke about it. I'm very sensitive. Looks like we've arrived. Good morning, you scary little shits. Also, watch this. Yeah, now they know I'm not here to kill them yet. And apparently one of their boys got lost and accidentally mined into the cellar, so. Yeah, no, they we're not trying to invade. I'm telling the Duke what I learned, and Sigmund is calling me a goblin lover. Sigmund, I marched in here with the utmost confidence with a giant fucking frog mask on my head. Do you think for a literal second that I'm offended by goblin lover? Eat shit. Oh, some of the castle silverware was missing from the cellar. And if it's not returned, the Duke has no choice other than to start a war. Dude, you're gonna justify an onslaught because the dirty, disgusting, rat-ridden cellar is missing a fork and a spoon. What kind of operation are you running here? Here's what I'm thinking. We dig in Sigmund's front pocket and steal whatever keys he's got. Yeah, do something about it, pussy, I dare you. Second, we go into his room and steal his things. I'm gonna plant whatever I find in the Duke's room, tell Sigmund about it, they fight to the death, they both die, I take over as king of this place and start restoring order to this fu- He's a ham member. Hey, Duke, uh, did you know Sigmund's a, a member of that one organization that plots assassinations and pillaging of any other race other than humans? Oh, that, that's cool with you? That's that's fine? Oh, okay, yeah, just making sure. Sweet. Yeah, gonna do this thing where I infiltrate the ham hideout and find the shit Sigmund stole. Oh, hey, here they are in the first available crate in their hideout. How massively convenient for me. Hey, it's me again, Duke. Uh, Sigmund framed the goblins and you should hang him because it's medieval times and that's okay to do in the eyes of society right now. Oh, you're just gonna fire him. Even though he almost caused the next world war and the lives of millions. Oh, Sigmund, you're unemployed now, man. Shame, shame on you. Sigmund's freaking out in the corner. Oh, he's really sad about his job. I'm bringing a peace treaty to the goblin guys to end all this wacky tension. Here they are. And, and me with my fucking frog head. Conducting formal diplomacy. Oh, look at that. Sigmund diabolically laughing outside the doors. I'm shaking in my boots. I'm gonna plow that guy's mouth in. That is a weird way to... Shut up. I'm gonna fucking destroy him, alright? That's... Yeah. He's... I'm gonna kill him one day. The giant dwarf. Some of you may recall, but not too long ago, I had to unintentionally start this quest in order to complete Between a Rock. Going on the ferry makes you go through the cutscene as of the release of this quest. So we rode the boat down and broke their stupid little statue and kind of somewhat got arrested. I say that because I kind of said screw you guys and left the room immediately without any trouble at all. But now we're back here with Commander Veldeban. He's like, whoa, wait, what the hell? You're, you're on the dwarf top 10 most wanted list. <laughs> Sorry, guy. I've, I've got a series to run. Oh, he said, don't worry about it. Never mind. He just wanted to talk to me and doesn't care about the statue at all. Cool. Oh, but he wants me to Make a new one anyway. Yeah, I guess I'll help you. Lassidar the Dwarf Sculptor. A legend around these parts. He's telling me that he was ordered to build the exact same statue, even though the commander just told me they haven't been ruled by a king for seven millennia. Why are they taking the opportunity of building a brand new statue to represent the city by rebuilding the same irrelevant statue they clearly didn't care about? Whatever, I don't care. We need to find the king's original boots, clothes, and battle axe so that some dwarf model can wear them and pose. Vermundi here is the clothes specialist, and there is a lot wrong here. Her character model looks like it's possessed by a dwarf demon and her chat head looks like I- I don't know what that is actually, good god. The developers took time to remodel the beloved elf models but left these like this. The local librarian knows what the king wore so we're hitting the books. Yeah, I got it. Vermani can make the clothes but she needs fuel for her machine. Of course she needs fuel. Here, I always keep some spare wood and coal on me at all times. Now chip chop, lady. She charged me 200 GP, I just supplied all of the material for you. This guy has the axe but it's broken, and only an obese, redberry, pie-eating asshole can fix it, so I know just the guy. Oh, Thurgo! Remember that pie I got for you a year ago? And that was super cool of me to do. Fix this ancient royal axe for me. Well, that was easy. I have a way with words, man, let me tell you. We just have to shove three sapphires inside the axe and it should be good to go. Oh, fuck yeah. Now just the boots. This old dude here has them and he's very stubborn about keeping the boots, so we're gonna do this thing called steal them because we do what we want. I like to call this tactic through the window through the wall, and sweat dropped down my ball. Very old technique. Very old, but... 
Very effective. Look at this Calvin Klein tier dwarf model. You are looking good, baby. You're welcome. We've got everything we need, except apparently there's a huge debate going on over a crown design for the statue. There's a bunch of dwarf clans slash companies in their offices. I need to join one of them to have a word in the vote. There's a company over here called Purple Pooter, and I'm gonna join them because that's hilarious. Basically, to become one of them, I need to complete a ton of tedious mining slash smithing related tasks, so this will be fun, I guess. Walked into an interview, didn't need a tutor Small girl kinda thick started talking to her She said, what brings you here on your computer? I said, what you think? I'm joining Purple Pooter. I gotta get a job, I gotta vote to cast. I've had a long day, so don't provoke my ass. So let me join your crew, tell me what to do. Just give me your task so I can see it through. We need four iron, let's see what you can do. If you do it right, then there might be a spot for you. I got running, I got mining, say less. Got back quick, she said that was just a test. That's the start to your day, and there's no time to play. So get the fuck out and get me five clay. Uh, okay. Here you go, now you can hire me for coal. Hurry, before my boss fires me. What? What? I, I'm not working for free if they start paying me for this stuff. Brought it back, now can I see the boss? No. Free copper, now get lost. Go. I'm wasting my day, I'm working for free. I'm clearly dedicated, so why can't they see? Boss, look, just let me. Who are you? What? Two bars of mithril, now go on, shoo. That's kind of crazy, I got you so much ore Bitch shut up, now you can get me four, four. Actually, four bars of gold uh, Stop complaining and do what you're told Jeez dude I went to the bank, I was tired of mining I think I'm being used, I might just start crying Sorry. Two steel bars, you little shit Whoa. You wanna join so bad, but you don't seem fit Come on. Two mithril bars, and also I hate you What the fuck? No wonder you can't get nobody to date you Dude, really? These'll do, I appreciate it, thanks By the way, you wanna join our fucking ranks? Oh my god, finally, yes Yeah, I'd like to join your company I've not been doing all of this for fun, thank you I'm a purple pooter, this is what I've always wanted Alright, now we're gonna attend the meeting Look at that cat, what a good guy So all these people here are representing their companies, arguing with each other of, of who should represent the statue. I don't know why one company is going to be representing the whole city. I, I don't really follow. I'm just going to barge in. Yep, here's what I think. Purple pooter all the way. I can't get me enough of those guys. We've got a dwarf boomer yelling at everyone else for letting me in here. Something tells me he's a bad guy in a future quest. Ah, look at this statue. I did all of that. I am great. Oh no, that's some XP if I've ever seen some. That's a beautiful reward. All of those suck to train, every single one. Appreciate it, dwarfs. You're good guys. An iconic quest coming at us hot. We're doing recruitment drive. Last time we delved into the Falador Knight storyline was over a year ago when we did Black Knight's Fortress. A whole ass year of buy release that doesn't even seem real. I love you guys, man. Ceramic Vase here is sending us to certification to join an organization. No questions, I am a community and organization man. Temple Knights is what we're joining, that sounds cool. I will be a Temple Knight. You will now all address me as Sir Elise. You will respect my rank and title and give me all your money. You know, if this was a real knight situation, I'd have to be a squire before this and be someone's laundry bitch for five years before knighthood was even thought about. Now, I'm gonna save myself the trouble because I've done this quest many times and I need to change my gender to a lady for one of the trials I'm about to face. Alrighty, folks. Here goes nothing. Oh, yeah, no. If we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it right. Oh, the makeover mage changed into a lady, too. I didn't even see that. I'm getting catcalled already. Mystery box. Always mystery box. What do you got for me? What? 45 death runes? I'm pretty sure that's the best reward I've ever gotten from a mystery box in my entire life. That's right. I'm hot, dude. I'm <laughs> so much better. I am a fucking queen. This is this is awesome. I know why Nine Rain always plays as a girl now. I feel much more confident. I've been playing a ton of Assassin's Creed Odyssey recently, and I'll tell you, Cassandra, the main character, can kick any dude's ass, and she's gonna be my role model during this quest. All right, Tiffy, I'm here for my tests. What if he just hands me a Scantron? We're being blindfolded. Go into the testing site. I hope. All right, we're in the first testing room. I'm gonna try to remember these. My one clue to pass this room is patience. What if that's not really my thing? Oh, I failed. Cool. Sweet. We're off to a wonderful start. Not quite the brain box I thought I was. Tiffy, do you want to get killed? Let's try this again. Okay, instead of clicking on him, we're gonna stare into his eyes and tempt him with our newly acquired seduction tactics. 
excellent work by release. I haven't been this hard in years. You've passed. What? <laughs> I'm fucking hot. I can own it. Next test is with circumference. This one is the entire reason I changed into a girl. He says this guy is undefeatable by any man. Rather than a figure of speech, it's literal, as in only women can beat him. And I am a woman, and I will, in fact, beat him. Oh, there's another woman here. A much less attractive woman. The other night's like, ah, oh, man, how come he got the hot one? Okay, I won. So this is the worst test of them all. It's some wild science puzzle, so I'm just gonna do it. So I'll just explain the whole thing in vivid detail to you. Science, 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 science. Hope you guys took notes. This one's just a memory game. One statue is going to be added, but if you look, a white one's going to be added since there's only three and the others have four, so it's just which white one's getting added? Yep. This one. Final test. The classic chicken likes grain, fox likes chicken, don't leave him alone or everyone dies. I've got to get them all to the other side. First things first, the chicken is the source of all of our problems, so we're going to bring him over first. Now we're going to take the fox over to make the chicken shit itself, but then we're going to take the chicken back over. Then we grab the grain, bring that over, because the fox doesn't give a fuck about grain. Then we take the chicken back over, and now we release a bear to eat all three of them. Just kidding, but that'd be awesome. We've passed all the tests. We're now a temple knight, so we can wear initiate armor which I always thought was the coolest armor of all time as a kid. That's a good looking knight if I've ever seen one, baby. Ah, as much as I'd love to stay like this, I have a brand to represent, so I need my beard and big round head. It was fun while it lasted. We'll never forget you, hot me. Oh, fuck, I'm bald. Oh, fuck, no. No, no, god shit, no, fuck. I gotta get a job. I gotta vote to cast. I've had a long day, so don't provoke my ass. So let me join your crew. Tell me what to do. Just give me your task so I can see it through. We need Need for iron, let's see what you can do. If you do it right, then there might be a spot for you. I got running, I got mining, say less. Got back quick, she said that was just a test.